Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I am at the home vlogging, darling. And today I wanted to get online real quick and I mean a real, real quick and talk to you guys about Donald Trump as well as Mike Pence. I don't know if you realize it, but Mike Pence was called to testify against Donald Trump. And because he was asked to do so by the courts, you know, he had no choice. He had to do what he has to do. But Donald Trump was trying to block it because let's face it, Mike Pence was his VP. He was his right hand man. He knows a lot of information that can possibly incriminate him so you know he's trying to do whatever whatever he can do to stop him from talking anyhow um today i woke up and i saw this article it's coming from cnn.com so if you have a chance i think you should check it out okay just don't listen to my word check out this article now it says in this article as bold as ever that Trump loses appeal to block Pence from testifying about direct communications. Of course, I've already stated that, but it was really bold and it was standing out and I was like, ooh, I'm fit to speak on it, honey. Now, in this article, it says, former President Donald Trump has lost in an emergency attempt to block former Vice President Mike Pence from testifying about their di uh, direct conversations. And this latest boost to a federal criminal investigation examining Trump and others' actions after t the 2020 election. Now, I want you guys to understand something. A federal criminal investigation is something that is really serious. You know, this man can be held accountable. He can go to jail and whatever Mike Pence testify uh, about or he is you know basically uh, forced to testify about can lead Donald Trump down a path that he really doesn't want to go down so this really can hurt Donald Trump you know the vice president actually speaking up oh that is serious, guys. You will have to let me know how you guys are feeling about Donald Trump, Mike Pence, especially Mike Pence being his right-hand man, speaking up, speaking about um, things that happened during the 2020 election. It seems like it is so important. It seems like this is something that it just doesn't really happen often. You don't really hear that the vice president is going to be speaking up um, against the president of the uh, former I should be saying the former president of the United States, excuse me. Anyhow, I want to go on and read a little bit more of this article. Now it says the former president has repeatedly tried and failed to close off some answers from witnesses close to him in the special counsel investigation. The latest order from the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals likely will usher in Pence's grand jury testimony quickly and an unprecedented development in modern presidential history. The unanimous decision from judges Patricia Millett, Robert Wilkins, and Greg Katzis on the D.C. Circuit came in a sealed case on Wednesday night that CNN previously identified as Trump ex executive privilege challenge to Pence. Trump has tried to block Pence from testifying about their direct communications even after the former vice president wrote about some of those exchanges and a lower court judge had ruled against him. So yeah, this isn't the first time that Donald Trump has tried to block Mike Pence. You know, Mike Pence has, you know, kind of been speaking out against Donald Trump saying, you know what, how you basically handle the, um, the election, the January 6th insurrection, this shit was not right. This It should never have happened. You know, y'all gonna have to comment in the comment section below. Do you think that Mike Pence should have been more passionate or or should he have been less passionate? You know, um, because he's showing passion. He's showing that, you know what, he's sticking up for his country. And with him speaking up, he has to speak out against Donald Trump. Talk about what Donald Trump has done. Say that what Donald Trump has done was illegal behavior, his activities. The January 6th insurrection, the storming of the U.S. Capitol, those behaviors was not, it should not have occurred. And he's letting people know. So, what do you guys think about it? I would love, 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 love to hear what you guys have to say. And with that being noted, y'all comment in the comment section. I've done many videos on Donald Trump. I've spoke about my opinions on, in the past on my YouTube videos. There's content out there that you guys can check out. So make sure that you're commenting, liking, and subscribing, darling. Please keep those notifications on so you know when your girl is online. Anyhow, I'm not going to make this video very much so longer. 
but I want you guys to know that I do have an Instagram. My Instagram handle is T-K-K-N-O-W-L-E-S-01. So if interested, you can find me there. I mean, I'm not there as often as I am on YouTube. You'll probably find me closer or faster on YouTube than on um, Instagram. But if you want to, you know, follow me there, you can. Anyhow, with that being noted, peace, love, and happiness. We need to be safe out here, staying blessed, and making sure that we follow laws, rules, and regulations, policies, and procedures, because we don't know when, where, and how, or how it might impact us. Bye, guys.